Hello, in this video I present to you, the unique Xtool S1 enclosed diode laser cutter. I received the shipment from Xtool and can't wait to open it up and put it to work. The parts are in separate boxes, secured as much as possible against damage during transportation. In the big box is the laser, with plenty of thick soft foam to protect it. Fastened with strong belts, heavy and solid construction, the inserted materials are of high quality. Everything you need is placed inside the laser. Sturdy and fairly long ventilation hose. Ventilation. A huge advantage and convenience when working with a laser. The working head of the laser and the necessary cables. Powerful power supply required to run the entire system, again with uncompromising quality. Also provided is a full description for initial release, beautiful illustrations with ideas and materials we can use. Spare lenses for the working head, electronic security key. A set of materials, acrylic, plywood, leather, stone, metal blanks are also provided, so you can immediately start creating and recreating your ideas into reality. In the second carton is the honeycomb well protected from damage, drawn with a measuring line in inches and millimeters, which is very convenient. Here we also have small but powerful magnets for locking the processed material. And in the last box is air assist, also well packed. Solid workmanship but at the same time luxurious and uncompromising in terms of quality. We also have two spare filters. About assembly. First you need to remove the two shipping plates on the left and right of the laser. Clearly marked with stickers. I drive the axle forward and attach the laser working head. Here I need to thread and tighten two hex bolts from the kit. I also put the regulator on the automatic focus, the fastening is with a magnet. I remove the safety grill and put the ventilation hose.
I connect the power supply. I put the electronic security key, without it the laser will not work, I have a second, spare. The laser also has an emergency button. I place the honeycomb and a line as described. I connect the air assist also following the instructions, simple and easy. There is almost nothing to assemble. When the instructions in the description are followed, commissioning is quick and easy. Even a person touching such a technique for the first time will manage in just a few minutes. All of this comes with well-made software that you can download from the manufacturer's website. What's unique here is the framing you'll manually indicate where the material is to work with. One or several materials placed in different places, no problem, everything is provided in the software. Automatic focus. Framing the material we work with. And let's make something unique. I use six pieces of plywood with thickness 10 millimeters width, 200 millimeters length, 250 millimeters. We cut one piece for the back, four pieces for the middle, and one piece for the front panel. These are the middle pieces, perfectly cut. This is the back piece. This is the front panel piece, here we also have an engraving that we will fill with epoxy later. These are the plywood pieces. I glue the pieces together with carpenter's glue. I don't need to fiddle with carpenter's staples. I will put some magnets from old and unnecessary speakers on them. I mix in a small amount of epoxy. I will fill in the engraved. A pigment of different color can be added to the resin, according to the desire and purpose. I use epoxy resin without dye, in its natural color.
I sand with sandpaper to remove the black scum from the laser work. I varnish with quick drying varnish. I use an old TV box, amplifier, 2 inch speakers. I drill and glue fasteners for the TV box. I drill a hole for the power supply. I also use an old 4.3 inch car monitor. I place the monitor in the specially made hole. I glue with warm silicone. I put the electronic board. I put the 2 inch speakers in and also glue with warm silicone. I place and fasten with bolts the circuit board of the TV box. I connect the power cables of the TV box, the amplifier and the monitor. I connect the video cables. And it's time to close the small and beautiful TV that I made using the X-Tool laser. If you want to buy the X-Tool S1 enclosed diode laser cutter, a link to the manufacturer's website is included in the description. Let's listen to music. <laughs> 